Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel Comscholar. In this lecture video, we are discussing case number 4 uh, from VK Singhanasar book. So, first, let's go through the question carefully. <coughs> name uh, Gansham K. Dyagi, father's name Manos Dyagi. Pen number is given. Date of birth that is 12th of December 1975. So, 1975 that is 25 plus 22 that means. Uh, 40, 46 age house key at present, right? Address given a mobile number, email, residence status kya hai, that is ROR, and he was living in India for 360 days during the previous year 21 22. Then uh, uh, he is a director of a company, which company that is Gansham Mall Limited, which is a domestic company and uh, he, he is holding listed shares pen number and di and that is director identification number is also given then bank details given now coming to the income part first is that is income from salary so this ssc withdrawing uh, basis salary transport allowance that is fully taxable perquisite in respect of rent free unfurnished house employer expenditure on rent that is 48 lakh Students, if you remember this point when we were discussing this RFA part, so RFA part that is basically divided into two parts that is unfurnished and furnished house, right? And uh, if it is case of uh, unfurnished, then we need to see whether this unfurnished house is owned by the employer or not owned by the employer. Since it is given here that uh, employers uh, making the expenditure on rent, that means uh, this is a case of not owned by the employer. Right, and in this case, uh, we calculate the tax liability on the basis of two factors that is 15% of salary or the actual rent paid by the employer, whichever is less amount that would be taxable in the end of employee. Right, so here that is uh, rent paid by the employer that is 48 lakh and uh, unfurnished house ka ye amount given. Hai. So, the kid, uh, if we see the 15% of salary, salary here means this is a case of RFA that is. Uh, uh, as per golden uh, golden rules that is uh, goal number one the kya kya aapka? basic salary all taxable allowances excluding all perquisites right to yahan par basic salary plus uh, transport allowance in dono ko add karke jo 15% nikaloge to yahi amount aayega and when you compare this amount with this amount so least amount taxable to yahi amount aapka taxable aayega all right then children education allowance 1800 that is fully exempt and leave salary fully taxable 42,000. Now coming to house property section. <clears throat> rent of ground floor no TDS that is 4 lakh. Rent of first floor 10% TDS 4 lakh uh, 5 lakh 40,000. And uh, class remember this is the amount that is received after paying TDS. So this is 90% amount. So we need to uh, enter the hundred percent amount and hundred percent amount would be six lakh. Then municipal tax paid by the owner that is thirty four thousand. Interest on capital borrowed on renewal of house property. Class member, that is the renewal of the house property, right? And uh, we have the uh, two cases in the case of uh, uh, let out. let out and in the case of let out, there is no restriction on the loan taken for the house property. Chavo kisi bhi purpose ke liye ho, chavo purchase ke liye ho, chavo construction ke liye ho, chavo renew ke liye ho, kisi bhi purpose ke liye ho. Agar SSC ne house property ke ko loan liya hai, and that house property is being used for the let out purpose. So there is no limit. So that means full 6 lakh 60,000 would be allowed as notation. Then income from other sources, interest on semi make account, dividend from Tata Papers, uh, silver chair, chain received from a non resident friend on birthday of the SSC. Class, if you remember the point of uh, income from other sources in the case of gift, if the SSC receiving the gift from non relative, right, and the value of the gift is more than 50,000. Then the entire amount would be taxable in the hand of recipient or SSC. Right? So this 74,000 will be taxable. Then coming to deduction part. 
पी पी एफ वन लैख ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड एन पी एस सेवेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड मेडिकल इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम ऑफ एस एस सी स्पाउस माइन डॉटर फोर्टीन थाउजेंड मेडिकल इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट सन दैट इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड क्लास इन दिस केस दिस प्रीमियम पेड फॉर द इंडिपेंडेंट सन सो दिस इज दिस अलाउड तो इसको हम इग्नोर करेंगे देन मेडिकल इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम फॉर पेरेंट्स बहुत आर सीनियर सिटीजन ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड तो पूरा मिल जाएगा सो so, तीन बार जो टी डी एस कटा है एडवांस टैक्स पेड एट वन टाइम एंड वी हैव इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग एसर्ट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज एज वेल राइट सो सो फार वी हैव क्लियर कट ओवर व्यू लेट स्टार्ट विद एक्सल यूटिटी If we talk about the होम पेज सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेक ऑल दी चेंजेस एज पर दी डिटेल्स सो आप इसको खुद कर लेना एंड फॉर पार्ट ए जनरल आई हैव ऑलरेडी पुट ऑल दी जनरल इन्फॉर्मेशन यहाँ पर आपको नया क्या मिलेगा दिस पार्ट दैट दिस टाइम द एस एस सी इज़ अ डायरेक्टर ऑफ ए कंपनी राइट तो यहाँ पर आपको क्या करना है इस जस्ट सिंपली मेक इट यस एंड पुट ऑल द डिटेल्स नेम ऑफ द कंपनी टाइप ऑफ कंपनी पेन दी शेयर्स आर लिस्टेड और अनलिस्टेड एंड देन पुट डी आई एन नंबर दैट सेट राइट सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद डायरेक्टली विद दी सैलरी पार्ट सो वी नीड टू पुट डिटेल्स ऑफ अबाउट द नेम ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयर एंड द नेम ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयर दैट इज गोदरेज मार्केटिंग लिमिटेड गोदरेज मार्केटिंग लिमिटेड then others टेन number टेन number में बुलाई रिमेम्बर क्लास यू ऑलवेज नीड टू गेट दिस टेन अमाउंट कहाँ से आवा नंबर लोगे जहाँ पर टी डी एस जो अमाउंट लिखा था ना टी डी एस अमाउंट सी ये आपको पेन नंबर लिखना है आपको दिस वन ऑल राइट दैट इज पी एन ई जी थ्री जीरो सिक्स सेवन नाइन एफ एड्रेस ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयर वन वन फाइव ऑब्लिक ट्वेंटी फाइव टाउन और सिटी दैट इज नासिक पिन कोड दैट इज फोर डबल टू फाइव जीरो टू Now put the details of salary. So first select basic salary, amounting rupees one crore ninety four lakh ten thousand. Then children education allowance that is eighteen hundred. then we need leave salary as well as for transport allowance so add two more columns sorry rows not columns rows so we will add leave salary that is leave encashment Amounting received from the employer that is forty-two thousand, and then other allowance as transport allowance, amounting rupees eighteen thousand. Right? Then uh, this person assessing assessing basically getting the perquisite in the form of unfurnished house. So we need to select. accommodation part and then type the taxable amount that is 29 lakh 14200 
right then coming down and then go for the exemption part now this person basically getting exemption from uh, first one that is uh, children education allowance children education allowance that comes under 14.2 amounting rupees 1800 right and uh, rest all the amounts are taxable so that's it now the tax taxable amount of salary is uh, 2 crore 23 lakh 34200 that's it validate shit is okay next coming to house property address 383 oblique 14 town city that is uh, Faridabad select state that is uh, Haryana pin code that is uh, 121002 owner type that is self is the owner property co-owned no then type of the property that is uh, let out so first put the gross amount remember class uh, just uh, like we have seen in this in the case of uh, rent received by the um, uh, SSE so 4 lakh for this and 6 lakh for this this is the net amount so we need to take up the gross amount so the gross amount would be 10 lakh then also for tax paid by the SSE amount of rupees 34,000 and interest on borrowed capital amount of rupees 6 lakh 60,000 without having any limit now income from hospital would be 16,200 that's it validate okay name of the tenant okay i forgot to put the name of the tenant here so the name of the tenant that is uh, for the ground floor that is dr shyam bihari and uh, for the first floor that is jugal furniture right that's it now very date sheet is okay next now let's put the details regarding uh, other sources <coughs> so in the case of other sources uh, he was getting saving bank interest amounting rupees 37,000 saving bank interest 37,000 then uh, dividend from indian company that is 27000 now again we need to see whether this amount is uh, yes this is the net amount 27000 is the net amount so we need to put the gross amount that is 30000 and then silver chain again this is the gift and gift will would come uh, just a second Achha, gift hai, so that means uh, see here what is given to you income of the nature referred to this kya kya given to aggregate value of, of sum of money received without consideration money kya hai to gift hai to money kya hai in case of yeh aapka immobile property yeh bhi aapka immobile property hai likha hua hai any case any other than property received without consideration and if the fair vacuum director will do property this area would so, what is the case? The fourth one is right. So, you have to write that is amounting rupees uh, 74,000. That's it. August is not Now, just simply validate the sheet. Now, 
the text of Lamont that is 141,000 other sources. Next, the simply click on calculate setup, validate, so it is okay. Next, then this is information regarding the ATD. So, he was paying the insurance premium for himself, spouse, and minor child. So, and uh, the age of the SSC is not senior citizen. So, the health of the family that is a modern group is 14,000. Then, uh, the parents are senior citizen and he is paying a mounting rupees 28,000 as medical insurance premium. That's it. So, 42,000 would be allowed a reduction under section 80D. Next. <coughs> section Apka Jaga Chapter 6A 80C me dikhe deduction kitni ki PPF me kitni ki that is 1 lakh 12,000. Right? Then NPS me kitna karai that is 73,000. And that comes under CCD 1B 73,000, but maximum kitni deduction me dikhe that is 50,000. But अभी भी twenty three thousand अभी भी रह रहा है, तो उसको आप eighty CCD one में लिख सकते हो, that is twenty three thousand आप यहाँ लिखो, and amount वो पूरा ले जाएगा आपको, because देखिए वो अभी भी डेढ़ लाख के अंदर आ रहा था, then <coughs> medical हो गया आपका, NPS हो गया, एक और deduction जो हम भूल जाते हैं, that is eighty TTA, इसमें क्या लिखना है? The amount of interest, CV bank interest, that is thirty seven thousand, and the maximum amount of reduction is that is ten thousand. So the uh, amount of reduction allowed as reduction that is two lakh thirty seven thousand. Now validate. She is okay. Next. <coughs> Sorry, this is not uh, our case, so isko hum no karenge. So we need to put uh, the details regarding the assets and liabilities. So this person having uh, the house property, so usko yes karenge. Description, house property. Flat that is 383, 14. <coughs> Area or locality that is Multan Nagar. Tano city that is Faridabad, state that is Haryana, pin code that is one two one double zero two. ये आपको house property section में pin code given है. And the cost of the house that is six lakh ten thousand when it was purchased. Then jewelry no archaeological no vehicle. Yes, he is having uh, the motor car BMW amounting rupees fifty five lakh. Bank details not non given shares no insurance policy no loan settlement as no cash in hand that is twenty thousand eight hundred loans and liability that is the loan taken for purchase car that is for like ten thousand eight hundred that's it validate it is okay next then first to put the details of uh, the bank details I have a code that is P U N B double zero two three one one zero Punjab National Bank and the account number is seven five six three two five eight seven eight seven one and then tick on this and then go down and uh, 
make it no make it no and then go upward and then first validate sheet is okay next and the put details of advanced text <coughs> B circle that is a triple zero four eight one six May date of make payment that is third of March two thousand twenty two serial number one four six amount that is twenty six thousand that's it very date next details of uh, all the tds so 10 of the employer that is p n e g 3067 9f name of the employer godrej marketing limited Charge of a salary amounting rupees two crore twenty three lakh thirty four thousand two hundred TDS paid by the employer that is eighty three lakh seventy five thousand. Sorry, TTS deleted by the employer. Then two more TDS. <clears throat> First one from tenant self. Ten of the tenant that is D E L J four nine five four two D. Financial year this one TDS brought forward that is sixty thousand again sixty thousand gross amount that is six lakh and this income belongs to income from house property. And then next we have another TDS <clears throat> self ten of the related that is uh, dividend so M U M T zero one two three four C again same two thousand twenty. <clears throat> three thousand the amount of TDS three thousand the gross amount is thirty thousand and this income belongs to income from other sources validate sheet is okay next Go to verification and put father's name Manoj Tiagi Self Validate Go back to part B TTI Calculate text validate sheet is okay then let's check the financer <clears throat> so now the amount is that is uh, net tax left that is uh, uh, 84 like 35,000 466 alright 
so this is the net tax liability so this is the case number 4 so students i hope you have understood very well thank you